name is Betty Shelton. I'm going to read a story for you. When I read the book, I will ask some questions. When I ask a question, please pause the video and answer the questions with your children. When you're done answering the questions, please start the video again to hear the rest of the book. I'm going to read a story called Excellent Ed. It is written by Stacy McNulty and illustrated by Julia Sarcone Roach. Who is the author of the book? Remember, the author is the person who wrote the book. Who drew the pictures? Excellent Ed. From looking at these pictures, what do you think the story is going to be about? All of the Ellis children were excellent at something, except for Ed. Who do you think Ed is in the story? Who are the characters in the story? All of the Ellis children were allowed to eat at the table and ride in the van and sit on the couch and use the bathroom inside, except for Ed. Why do you think Ed could not do all of those things? Is your dog allowed to do those things? Elaine was an excellent soccer player. Ed preferred to carry the ball in his mouth. The twins, Emily and Elmer, were excellent at math and could add faster than a calculator. Ed could only count to four. Edith was an excellent ballerina and could twirl on her toes. Ed could twirl too, but it wasn't the same. Ernie baked excellent cupcakes. Ed agreed. What are some things that you're excellent at? Maybe if I were excellent like Elaine, Emily, Elmer, Edith, and Ernie, then I could eat at the table and ride in the van and sit on the couch and use the inside bathroom, Ed thought. But what was Ed excellent at? Sometimes we don't know what we're really good at or what we're excellent at, and we have to ask other people to help us. Then he got it. Breaking stuff. I'm definitely excellent at breaking stuff, Ed thought. That should earn him a place at the Ellis family table. But before he could jump onto a chair, Elaine zoomed into the kitchen and yelled, I broke the record for the most soccer goals in the season. Elaine was better at breaking stuff than me. When it said that she zoomed into the kitchen, what does it mean to zoom? I must be excellent at something, Ed thought. Then he got it. Losing stuff. Just last week, he lost himself when he wandered out of the backyard. I'm definitely excellent at losing stuff, Ed thought. Sometimes dogs do wander away. Is it okay for you to wander away from your house or your yard? Why or why not? Ed thought that earned him a ride in the van. But just as he was about to jump in, Elmer shouted, I lost a tooth! Me too, Emily said. Elmer and Emily were better at losing stuff than Ed. How do you think he's feeling right now? What makes you feel like that? What helps you feel better? I must be excellent at something, Ed thought. Better than Elaine, Emily, Elmer, Edith, and Ernie. But what? Sometimes we don't know what we're good at. Forgetting stuff. He always forgot to wipe his paws, and he forgot that he shouldn't water the rose bushes. And he always seemed to forget that he'd just eaten. Ed, you just ate, Dad said. I'm definitely excellent at forgetting stuff, Ed thought. He was sure that end of earned him a nap on the couch. But then Edith made an announcement. What do you think her announcement was? I'm the new lead ballerina. When I auditioned, I just forgot to be nervous and I danced my best ever. Ed whimpered. He wasn't even the best forgetter. Maybe I'm not excellent enough to be part of the Ellis family. 
Do you ever feel like that? Just then, Ernie dropped half his peanut butter sandwich. Ed gobbled it up. Wow, Ed, you're excellent at cleaning the floor, Ernie said. Yes, I am an excellent floor cleaner. Maybe that's why I don't eat at the table. Then Emily and Elmer walked in the front door. Ed jumped up and covered them with kisses. Ed, you're, an, you're excellent at welcoming us home, Emily and Elmer said. Yes, I am an excellent welcomer. Maybe that's why I don't go away in the van. Hmm, so maybe sometimes the things we're really good at, we don't know that we're good at. Later, the family squished together on the couch and there was no room for Ed. So he lay across, across Edith and, El and Elaine's feet. What does it mean to be squished? Ed is excellent at warming feet, Elaine whispered to Edith. Whisper to someone you're sitting with how you feel right now. Now say it louder. Yes, I am an excellent feet warmer. Maybe that's why I don't sit on the couch. Ed wagged his tail. He was an excellent Ellis after all. Do you ever feel like you don't fit in somewhere? Sometimes we don't need to fit into certain places. Sometimes we need to fit in where we belong and we just need to search and find what we like and what's best for us to see where we fit in. Now, if he could just figure out why he wasn't allowed to use the indoor bathroom. What are you told you're not allowed to do? Now think of some things that you're told you are allowed to do and some things that you're excellent at. If you don't know, go ask someone. Thank you.